again. When left to their own devices, most people are compassionate by default. But as soon as they feel slighted, they immediately want justice. Just like when some jerk cuts you off in traffic, your brain goes into revenge mode, wishing you could do something about it. And in this case, Please proceed. they can. Not surprisingly, everyone who got bumped sought revenge on the obnoxious stranger. And you probably would too. But is there anything we could do to alter this result and have people choose compassion, even for a jerk? You're gonna go right to this first door on the left. Great, thanks so much. Oh, sure. Yeah, dude, were you there when she just started reciting Shakespeare? Dude. This woman is having the same ugly run-in with our test subject, and she's got the same hot sauce choices. So will she choose death, too? Hi. Hi. Go on in. That's a lovely smile. <laughs> Please, you. have a seat. Oh, you're welcome. Can I get you some water? Sure, please. All right, cool. Please proceed. Okay. Whoa, she chose the medium sauce, even though this guy ran her over just moments ago. And you can't see me? No. All right, thanks. No, I'm walking Thank down you. the hall. <laughs> Yo, careful, man. What about this guy? He'll want revenge, right? Ben, nice to meet you. Nice please meet you. have a seat, sir. Okay. Can I get you some water? Uh, sure, please. And how has your day been, my man? Uh, good. Thank you. The mild sauce this time. What's going on here? Before, the scientist was all business. And that is a one-way mirror. The subject cannot see you. OK. But this time, he's friendlier to our volunteers. That's a lovely smile. <laughs> and a little more, you guessed it, compassionate. Hi. Make yourself comfortable. And time after time, our last group manages to find some compassion themselves and pick the milder medium sauce, despite their run-in with the jerk. Look ahead. This is because they were all shown compassion themselves by the scientist. Can I get you some water? Sure. This is not just about giving hot sauce to a stranger. What this experiment reveals about compassion is that like the common cold, Shoot. Compassion is actually contagious. So as you saw in the hot sauce experiment, you can actually prime others to behave more compassionately by behaving more compassionately yourself. And when someone empathizes with you, you can then pay that compassion forward to the next person. Aww. This is something to think about the next time you feel hostile or aggressive towards someone else. A simple act of kindness or compassion can produce the same feelings in others and cause a ripple effect that affects us all. Just like our expert panel of babies, when you experience compassion, the chemical oxytocin is released in your brain, which stimulates more feelings of empathy. And the cycle continues. But the truly amazing thing about being compassionate is that you can actually get better at it. The latest research shows that by engaging in compassionate behavior yourself, you actually strengthen your compassion reaction by creating new neural pathways in your brain. So whether you hold the door for a stranger or pay someone a compliment, when it comes to compassion, the more you give, the more you get. Did I mention, you look great today. <laughs>